or a part of three. Um, that's what I was trying to check to see my bad percentage was on my phone. But yeah, what I don't understand bass with bass fishermen. I mean, I understand it, but like at the same time, if someone wants to keep a bass, like I seen on Facebook, YouTube, people getting upset about it. I understand that people like to, you know, keep keep them alive to catch. I mean, I do too. But I mean, like I've been raised, like my grandpa keeps some bass sometimes. And a lot of times, I mean, if people don't want the bass in their pond, they either want them out to be eaten or to be like taken to another pond. And you can either do one or two choices. And I think bass tastes like other, like other fish. So like, I mean, in my honest opinion, I do not think that there's a problem with it, but there might be a problem in lakes. But if it's like a pond, I understand why they're keeping it. Or like, I don't, I don't really know, but like, it's just my preference. But yeah, like, I got a pair of pliers in my little compartment right here. Let's make sure I got anything. Okay, I got a couple of weights right here. Found a um, spinnerbait, a black and blue HX spinnerbait on my other bag. I thought I was putting on the other bag on accident. But yeah. Y'all know how I caught that big bass on the, um, on the, what you call it, the chatterbait in my buddy's pond? Well, now I got me an actual working scale that I actually know would work. I mean, I want an electric one, electronic one, but they're like $19, 30 $20, and I just don't want to spend, I mean, I want to spend the money when I get the money, but, like, for now, I'm just going with a 50-pound, uh, what you call it. So, and this is an HO Express 2, um... Got a flashlight in here, just a regular one. Sorry if I didn't mean to blind y'all. I didn't mean to scare y'all in the first of the video. Um, then I got this little, let's see, I get the work real quick. Okay, guys, that's red flash, and that's more bright. And then stripes, so if anyone comes, you can see me. Got, um, and, and I got some more dividers here. Okay, I've got this side pocket. So now I got uh, more. I also kick a car right bug. Y'all can tell I like these baits for how much I'm buying, you know? It's a big bang for my bug. Got another, I got. A, I found the weight on the ground. Got a lunker hunt, catch big fish for $4.97. I actually paid $2 for these. It's only said $4.97, but I paid less. But now I got bubble butt, 16 black and tan is the color, five inch, one four pounds. Uh, 13 fishing. And I got that this kind of talk. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, like I said before, but I mean, I wish I was, you know. Bad Carl's Amazing Bait, Trick Worm. Then now, the piece of resistance. Let's get into, I know that's gonna cringe you, but let's get into the big part of the bag. Um, first we're going to is right here, okay? Um, it's like an angle elbow, definitely here. So I got, uh, Berkeley Power Bait, this is called a 7 inch, 18 centimeters, blue flake fire tail. I thought this would kill bass in the bed, in the bed season or in the spring. Ooh, like let me show y'all. It has a purple green, like green pump, kind of black blue flake in the top. And then the bottom is like pinkish reddish. And I might give you some methylate, methylate, however you say that name of that. I might give me a couple of them, not for sure, but for now, I remember these were like a regular pink trick worm. And these have that scent to that, that I guess bass love. Okay, it says, and I don't know if it's actually proven, if if it actually is proven or not, but it says 18 times longer they'll stay on the hook. I wanna actually see, like, I might do this just to see. I might do a video here soon, like spring fishing, all that. And what I'm gonna do, well, if it's a big fish, I'm gonna reel it in. But if it's like, if I see it in this tiny or something, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna reel. I'm, not, I'm gonna try to reel, I'm gonna try to fight it, I'm gonna see how long it will stay on. And if it doesn't sound for 18, 18 seconds longer, it's cap. But I mean, it's sorry for my, my toes in the way, but, but I mean, I mean, there's still good baits overall, and there's something I recently watched on YouTube, and it's crazy. And I've always used since sometimes, because you know I'm sponsored by Batman. I think I'm, I'm on the pro side too. Well, um, I literally 
looked up this, and I'm not dissing Batman. I'm not saying there's something's cap or anything, because it works for me and other people who are like the pro side and sponsor and all that. Because they, they, and they used to make baits too, and they have a little face mix. I always rep that. But it's just, what I've read about and what I learned on this YouTube video, they say the bass hate oily substance because they cannot smell it. It's like that, that bad. And I looked up, like, and it said that, um, the, there's just some video, but it was like Bass Headquarters or something on YouTube. I forgot, but literally it said, um, it said that they are most likely not to smell it because of being so oily or it's just, and I, I've also noticed too, and I'm sorry I keep saying that, but like, I noticed that uh, when I ride poor Batman, or spray Batman in the water on my bay and it gets on the water, it stays on top, but it doesn't get to the bottom a little bit, but it makes like an oily looking like substance. Like, it just changes colors in the water. I'm like, well, that's kind of new. And it's always done that. Like, I don't understand why, but I guess it helps the fish bite, and that's what it helped me. But yeah, um, I got some Ultimate Line to Match made in Japan, Kata Custom Works, Swim Impact 4. These would work good on an iron spin, maybe a Ned rig, maybe a Texas rig, uh, all that. Got Krim King of Baits Curl Tail Shadow. Now these, I fucking work, uh, for crappy and bass. I've caught, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, crappy sliders, I've caught bass before on them. Um, and I've caught big bass, my brother has too. But, like, I thought crappy jigs, like a small presentation. I mean, you might not get the best hookup ratio, but let me tell y'all, y'all will get big. And um, I got some 13 fishing. These are like the smaller versions of these baits. I maybe text rig these, um, net rig them, jig head them, like cut down, wacky rig them, any of that kind of stuff, you know, good thing, nigga rigging. Uh, it's a joystick ultra thin rabbit ear tail. 16 black and tan is the color. Okay, um, got uh, headbanger, banger lizard, and I'll catch y'all back in a second because I think I'm going to go to the